Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we are going to learn about hematopoiesis. And this is what we're going to learn today. So getting on to it, what does hemato mean? So hemato means blood and poiesis means creation. So it just basically means the creation of blood. The creation of blood. Okay, so we already knew what erythropoiesis is or if you've heard of leukopoiesis, but hemato means blood in general. So we're not going to just look about how is your erythrocytes produced, but we're going to look about how is just basic blood produced, you know, because blood, when I just say blood, I can have urethrocyte production, leukocyte production, I mean platelets, and, you know, so many different things. So usually in anatomy um, too, um, your professor will have you memorize this chart. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through this so you guys can understand it a little bit more. And this looks like a lot, but we'll go through it step by step. Okay, so the first thing you start with is a pluripotent hematopoietic stem cells. And pluripotent just means that, hey, this is a cell where other cells can come from it. And hematopoietic means it's specifically red and poetic means creation, so red blood cell creation. So we don't know what can be created from this cell, but we know it has to pertain to red blood cells, the creation of. So we have this stem cell, stem, something stems from it. So it, it, it can either go from a myeloid stem cell to a lymphoid stem cell. Stem cell. Sorry, guys. My English is a little... <laughs> I don't know why I'm jumbling it up, but myeloid stem cell and lymphoid stem cell. So when I was in school, my professor taught me this very smart way that can help you visualize. So your myeloid stem cell, imagine it's like you are taking a math major. A math major has so many avenues you can go to. You can be maybe a physicist, a mathematician, a teacher, um, so many other things as a math major. So you have way more processes produced more avenues. While lymphoid stem cell, we all say this is an English major. So in English, you know, it's not that many variety. You can become a writer, an English teacher. Let's just keep it at that. No offense to any majors out there. It's just for this analogy. But so your myeloid is going to create a lot of cells while your lymphoid, eh, three cells. So this is going to create six and this is going to create three. So remember, myeloid stem cell, and lymphoid stem cell. So we're gonna go through each cell that it can create one by one. So the first type of cell that the myeloid stem cell can create is my urethrocyte. Hopefully that's a familiar term to you. That means my red blood cells. But hmm, there's like a little step that we missed. It, it doesn't go straight from myeloid to urethrocyte. First we have to do a reticulocyte and from that reticulocyte we get the urethrocyte so it's a myeloid stem cell you get a reticulocyte and then you get your urethrocyte okay hopefully that makes sense okay then your second type of cell that you can produce from the myeloid stem cell the math major oh look myeloid math <laughs> you can create platelets platelets if you haven't learned, it's very important in the clotting factor. If you have too much blood going on, we're not here to learn about that. We're just here to learn where do platelets come from? Where does it stem cell? What stem cell does it come from? So before platelets can come, it has to come from a megakaryoblast. Okay, so basically what's happening here is this is a huge cell. It gets phagocytized and then this is the leftover pieces right here. So you go from myeloid, remember math, mega karyoblast and then a platelet okay now this looks confusing right but the rest as you can see the lines are longer meaning there's no in-between step that has to happen to create um these cells right here these were a little i mean confusing because there's a mediator cell in the middle and then it goes there but this it just jumps straight to it so okay so the myeloid stem cell can also produce an eosinophil it can create a basophil, myeloid stem cell can create a neutrophil, and the myeloid stem cell can create the monocyte, okay? If you don't know what these are, these are specific types of white blood cells 
Hopefully you'll learn about those later, but right here we're just here to learn where does this stem from? What types of cell does it stem from? So that's it. That's all for my myeloid stem cell. Let's review. I got my urethrocyte, my platelet, and my four different types of white blood cells. Okay? As I said, math is a little... You have a lot of avenues, so there's a lot of avenues right here. Okay, now we're to my lymphoid stem cell. And just a refresher, it comes from our pluripotent. My myeloid and lymphoid comes from my pluripotent hematopoietic stem cell. So for my lymphoid stem cell, okay, fun fact, lymphoid, what does lymph mean? I know it has to relate to white blood cells, meaning the things that are produced here are strictly white blood cells. While for myeloid, I had something totally opposite from white blood cells. I had urethrocyte platelets and four white blood cells but lymphoid is just white blood cells just a fun fact there so lymphoid the first type of cell can create is a b lymphocyte you just have to memorize that i'm not going to explain what that is but just know that then you go from a lymphoid stem cell to a t lymphocyte i'm still you just have to memorize that okay then a lymphoid to natural killer cells. But these all have to do with white blood cells. All of these three are white blood cells. And that's basically it for the hematopoiesis. Just something to point out here. Erythrocyte is created through urethropoiesis. Platelets are made through thrombopoiesis. And then all of these cells right here are created through leukopoiesis. Because remember, I still had some white blood cells and I still had a red blood cell. I still had some platelets going on here. But over here, it's just, you know, white blood cells. But this combined is leukopoiesis. Lymphoids just solely make white blood cells. And myeloid is mixed because math major has more avenues. So hopefully you learned more about hematopoiesis. Okay, and guys, just saying, it took me time to memorize this. So if I can memorize it, you can certainly memorize it. You just need time. So if you want, you can take a screenshot of this on my graph, and you'll be all set for ANP2. God bless.